All right, welcome to the woods. It's a nice fall day. We had some rain yesterday, so I'm gonna hike up this way and see if we can find some mushrooms. Oh, I'm already getting tired. All right, well, I just found the first mushroom of the day. Do you see it? It's hiding. There we go, it looks like a nice chanterelle. Let me switch the camera around, we'll take a look. And get my knife under it. Take them out of there. There we have it. Okay, I thought I'd show you something. This is why it's really important to go slow. I took a few steps from that last one, and I don't know if you can see it through the camera, right about in the center. Some more chanterelles. Hey, this might be a good day. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Look at this mushroom. Isn't that beautiful? By the way, one piece of advice I have is to make sure your mushrooms are clean in the field. It'll save you so much hassle later. So like this one, I haven't trimmed the bottom yet. So we can do that right now. I'll show you. I just take my mushroom knife. It doesn't take much. Just Trim off that little bit of dirt, get it nice and clean, and your future self will thank you. Okay, well I like finding all kinds of mushrooms, even ones that aren't edible, because I think they're all interesting. Here we have bird's nest fungus, and it makes these little cups, and sometimes they even have what looks like little eggs in there. I think it's just the spores, but these look like empty nests. Anyway, just a cool mushroom. I think it's interesting. But let's move on, see if we can find some more that are edible. Okay, a couple of quick safety things as I show you this beautiful scenery up here. First of all, be sure to tell someone where you're going and approximately when you expect to be home. Also, be sure to bring your phone and make sure the battery's charged. And it might not be a bad idea to wear some blaze orange. I actually forgot to do that today, but with hunting seasons starting up in the fall, Always a good idea to be safe. Here's another tip. If you put your knife down, make sure you pick it up and take it with you. <laughs> I just spent about 20 minutes backtracking trying to find my knife. Uh, okay, back to mushroom hunting. All right, here's another little bunch of chanterelles I just found. I'm working on getting them out. You know, one thing I've learned is elevation is really important. So if you're out looking for mushrooms at a time when you know they really should be out, I mean, you know, it's the right time of year and the right season, um, but you're still not finding them, try a different elevation. That can make a pretty big difference. Well, if you're finding mushrooms, it really pays to look around very carefully in the same area a little bit before you move on. I nearly missed these, but look, way down there, hiding, there's some more chanterelles. Awesome. Okay. All these chanterelles came out of that last little patch, so that was really neat. As I started cutting them and pulling back that humus layer, I just kept finding more and more. So I'm pretty optimistic. Oh, and by the way, make sure you say humus, not hummus. I did that and got made fun of a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Okay, well, I don't know exactly what this is, but I do know that it really, really, really hurts if you grab it, <laughs> like I just did. Is it Devil's Club or something? I don't know. But yeah, that wasn't very smart. I guess it pays to look at whatever you're gonna grab before you grab hold of it. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, well, I'm still following this trail as much as there is a trail here, which I guess isn't very much. And that brings up another really important safety concern. It can be really fun when you start finding mushrooms and you get excited and you run from one to the next and you're not paying attention. Next thing you know, you're lost. So really watch out for that. Make sure you're keeping your bearings in my case, I know this area pretty well, so I'm not worried today, but always something to keep in mind. Well, I just saw this guy in the trail. Look at that. I'll give you a size comparison. There's my knife. <laughs> so that's quite the slug. Well, here's a mushroom that's confusing me a little bit. It looks a little bit like a shaggy mane, that shape, but the cap doesn't really have those, you know, those scales. And it's a little bit more bulbous on the bottom. Let's take a look, see if we can figure out what this is. 
So I'm about 99% sure that this is a shaggy mane, which is delicious, but we're not going to risk it. Leave that one there. All right, so I just made it home. Had this nice little pile of chanterelles. Not a lot, but it's early in the season and I wasn't out very long, so I'm happy with it. Before I get to slicing them up and putting them in the frying pan, I did want to say just one more time, because it's so important, if you're going to eat wild mushrooms, please, please be 100% certain of your identification. As one longtime viewer posted in one of my other mushroom videos, all mushrooms are edible once, right? So you really want to be careful. In this case, I'm totally confident these are chanterelles and they look delicious. So we'll be good to go. But if you're in doubt at all, don't take the chance. Just throw it away. All right, let's get these sliced up and into the frying pan. Okay, I've got them all sliced up, just about ready to go. One thing I should mention is that it's always better not to wash mushrooms with water if you can help it. So these weren't very dirty. They just had a little bit of, you know, some dirt left on them and a few pine needles here and there, and that was easy to clean off. If you wash them with water, they tend to get kind of uh, soggy. They absorb a lot of moisture, and that makes them sort of gross and hard to cook. So always best to not wash mushrooms unless you absolutely have to. All right, so you want the pan nice and hot, and definitely feels hot. So we'll throw in a little butter. My favorite spice, as a friend of mine likes to say. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Toss in our mushrooms. Some salt. A little pepper. Yeah, there we go. Got a plate with a paper towel here. And, yeah. What do you think? Let's see, these are done. So here we are. Last step is to take your toothpick and try one. Try that piece right there. Very good. Wow, I love fresh mushrooms. Glad you could join me today. It was a lot of fun. I hope this was helpful if you're interested in going out on your own. But yeah. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.